Got my beaver tail here all scummed up, fleshed out. I'm gonna try tanning it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just salt it. Probably, so I'll just dump some salt on here. I'll probably just leave the salt on here for like a day or two. But just, I'm gonna put a good amount on. Just gonna pat it in here, get it all over. A little more on these edges. Don't be afraid to use a lot of salt. Definitely more salt is better than two less. So I'm just gonna let that sit probably for a day or two or however long it takes for this thing to harden up probably. And then what I might try to do is rehydrate it, soak it in water for about another day. And then uh, I've tanned some hides before and I've used the, using alum, doing the alum tan. So I think I might try this on the beaver tail. So I've never tanned a beaver tail, we'll see how this goes. So I'll just let that sit for a couple days and we'll come back to it and I'll show you what it looks like. Got the beaver tail. It's all nice and dry now. You can see it's pretty stiff. You see it cracking a little bit, but it's pretty dry now. It took a little bit longer than I thought it would to dry, but I think it's because it was colder outside. So I went ahead and brought it inside and then it dried up pretty quick. So now what I'm gonna do is just I got some, a bucket of water here, just like room temperature water. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the water. Make sure it doesn't float or anything, but this one's sinking. So I'll let that sit. Probably only take about a day to rehydrate. So it's nice and, nice and floppy again. It's not hard as a rock. And then we'll go on to the next pro, next step to trying the almond tan on the beaver tail. So I'll let that sit for a little while in the bucket of the water, and then we'll come back and take a look at it. All right, so I got the beaver tail here. It's been soaking in the water for a day. See it's rehydrated, nice and pliable. So now what I'm gonna do is dump this water out I'm gonna add uh, some, a little bit of more fresh water and I'm gonna wash it with just some Dawn soap just to get it clean and to, this help degrease it. So just squirt a little in there. Add some water here. Now I'm just gonna wash it with my hands. All right, so this is looking pretty good here. It's nice and clean now. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna wash this off, or I'm gonna dump the bucket out. I'm gonna wash all the soap out of here, wash off the tail, get some fresh water in here. So I'll go ahead and get some water in here and I'll show you the next step. All right, so I got some water put in here. I just used, you don't need it insanely warm, but I got just a little warm water in there before I add the beaver tail. We're gonna start the tanning process here, so I'm gonna be using the alum tan. So I just got one of these small containers. This one is 1.25 ounces. Just gonna open this up. I'm gonna dump this whole thing in. And now for all the alum you add, you're gonna need double 
that amount in salt, and you're going to want to use non-iodine salt. So I just got some salt here. I'm going to fill this container a couple times just be, so I don't have to measure it. This will be doubled. My salt's a little chunky because it got a little wet. And since you added warm water in here, this will help dissolve this. So now I'll just start by stirring this with my hands, get this all dissolved. All right, so that's pretty good. It's all dissolved. So now I'll just take the beaver tail again. I'm just going to throw it in the solution, make sure it's submerged. It's submerged in there. So now I'll just let that sit for three days. Stir it every day, once a day. And then we'll come back after three days and I'll show you the next step. All right, so the beaver tail has been sitting for three days. Go ahead and show you it. It turned from being slimy to being really tough and thick feeling and feeling more like leather. So now what we're going to do is, what we had in before was the, the alum solution with just alum and water. So that's an acid. So now we got to neutralize that with a base. So I'm going to go ahead and dump this out. I'm going to rinse the tail off, add some new water. All right, so like I said before, we're going to have to neutralize this. So I'm just going to use some borax. This will be a base solution. There's no real measurement, but I have the pail about half full with the tail inside so i'm just going to dump in a fair amount now i'm going to mix this around let it dissolve just like we did with the alum and salt solution Sure that tail submerged again so the tails in there I'll let that sit for one day just let that sit for one day and that'll be good enough and then we'll come back to the next step all right so we have the beaver tails soaking overnight for a day in the borax solution so now we can go ahead dump this out And now I'm just going to take the tail, I'm just going to dry it off on some paper towels. Get it as dry as I can get it with the paper towels. And now we're just going to let this sit and start drying out. Since I've never done one before, we'll figure out what happens, but I'm going to just start letting it dry out like you do with a normal hide. I might have to work it a little bit, but when it gets to that point, I'll show you what to do. All right, so I got the beaver tail here. It's been drying for a little while. It's not quite dry enough yet, but when it was drying, I was noticing that maybe I should shave up a little bit more of this. But I was reading something online where it says you don't want to go 
too far down all the way to the where you can see you know the leather right through the black you want to leave some of this white on or if you take it all off it's going to be really brittle and it breaks but i think i got this on a little too thick up here so i'm just going to put it back on my beam and i'm going to shave some of it off if you haven't seen my beaver's tail skin video that i'll sh that shows you how to skin and flush this out so if you don't know how to do that you can go back and look at that video but I'm gonna go ahead and shave some more of this fat off on my beam. All right, so I shaved a little bit more of it off. I tried to keep it where you can see there, you can slightly see where it's starting to turn a little darker, where you can see the other side of the leather. I tried to keep just a little bit on, but now I'm just gonna continue to let this dry. It's already been drying for quite a while and it hasn't hardened up at all, really. It is pretty cold outside, so I've been leaving it inside. This would probably be better if it was summertime and I could leave it on the sun, but I'm just keeping this inside. Maybe it'll take a few days, I don't know. But I'll just start letting it dry again, and I'll show you the next step. All right, so I got the beaver tail here. It finally dried. You can see the white area like disappeared after drying. This actually took overnight, it's about midday. And I took it out of the borax at probably midday yesterday too. So about a full day, it finally started to dry up. You can see it curled up a little bit as it dried. It's fairly stiff right now. But now I'm just gonna try by working this. I got a two by four in my vise here. I don't want to use something really rough, like a tree. When you do your hides, you can use a tree or you can use like a piece of rebar. You don't want to do that on this because you're going to have a chance of ripping it. But I'm just going to try working this nice and slow. I think in a piece of wood, like a two by four is going to be the best. I'm just going to go against this. Just do this quite a bit. You know, maybe do this side a little bit. Take your fingers, you know, just kind of bend it out. Just be really careful so you don't rip it or break it. But I'm just going to keep at that for a little while until hopefully it turns a little softer and more flexible. So I'll just work at it for a little while and we'll come back and take a look at it. All right, so I've been working this for a little while. I found that working with your hands is a little bit better than trying on the board. But you can see when I was working it, it's starting to turn a little white on the back. And it's definitely flattened out quite a bit. I mean, this might take quite a while until you get how you want it, but depending on what you're using this for, you don't need it insanely flexible, you know? But yeah, I just keep working it back and forth. I'm finding that working it with my fingers is probably the best. But I'll just keep at this for a little while until I get how I kind of want it. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with the beaver tail yet. In the summer, I think I'll probably get quite a few more tanned up and maybe try doing something with them. But not quite sure yet. But... You can see I got quite a bit of that curl out of it already. Just been working it for probably about five, 10 minutes. It's working, it's looking pretty good though. You can see a tan solution definitely worked though. But I'll just keep at that for a little while and then I'll show you when I get it to how I like it. All right, so I got the beaver tail here. Been working it for a little while. You can see it's not quite perfect yet, but it's turning out pretty good so far. But now, what I got is just some car leather conditioner. And I'm gonna put a little bit on the leather just to protect it a little bit. I'm thinking you might have to do this every once in a while just so it doesn't dry out. But I just put a little on a paper towel. Just gonna rub it in on the outside tail part. I 
And so this help protect it, keep it from drying out. Keep it flexible and keep it from being brittle and everything. There, that's basically the finished product of your beaver tail. You got that weather conditioner on there, good protective. Now you can do whatever you want with it. And now you've done it yourself, pretty cheap. That's how you tan a beaver tail. So thanks for watching and please subscribe.